Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias, and welcome back to another episode of Wine and Wisdom. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. It's pajama day. Woo! I got my little wink going on. So thank you for joining us. And today we're starting with another affirmation. And the affirmation go la vida te va enseñando quien sí, quien no, y quien nunca. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think it's very powerful because in esta vida you cannot always trust everyone and you have to be like really careful who you pick in your circle and that's the why we have such a great circle of friends right here as you know we're like not only friends we're like basically like sisters mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. there's over 30 years of friendship sitting at this table today we've been friends since high school and Claudia and I have been friends since pretty much since we were 14 15, 15 teenagers yeah. and um, I love our sisterhood you know you you God blesses you with your siblings but you choose who your sisters are and who choose your friends are. So I think that's such a strong affirmation because life does teach you who you can have as friends and who you can have as um, acquaintances. There's a big difference. Big difference. And I think it's okay that sometimes you make these friends early on mm -hmm. and then you kind of get older and you realize that Oof, these are not really your friends. Your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. You know, sometimes they say friendships come in seasons. Mm -hmm. That's so true. And that's okay. Sometimes people come into your life for a reason, for a season, and then you kind of have to let it go, or just you wonder why things kind of just end. Fade out. Mm -hmm. I think or it's, fade out. It's, I think it's like a kind of a process. Sometimes you just meet these people because either they're here to teach you something. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's like Claudia said, it goes by season. So, you know, sometimes you got to give yourself the opportunity to meet these people and what are they bringing into your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Like what is their purpose in your life? Mm -hmm. um, everybody plays a different role. It's like, you know, life is a storybook, right? So everyone plays a different chapter in your life. And not everyone is meant to stay in it forever. But we've been blessed that we can keep each other for mm -hmm. all this time and it's just amazing. It's rare, it's not found everywhere or every day. Mm -hmm. So when we have it, we gotta cherish it. It's mm -hmm. very special. It is very special. Many seasons, right? Yeah. Many seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Many seasons special. and many different backgrounds as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So um, I always said that it, it's, I'm blessed to have a lot of like good friends in my life. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have like siblings from my mother's side. So to me, this is our, my, my, my sisters and I always said that and I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Aww. It's true, it's true. Um, you know, I, I grew up with an older brother and an older sister, and um, they'll always be my older brother and my older sister, but sometimes you can't go to them for certain things, right? Because, you know, you go through your challenges and you go through your experiences in life and there's certain things you don't want to talk about and it's hard for you to find someone that you can trust that's not going to turn around and uh, backstab you or make you feel a certain type of way. And we've been blessed that uh, there's really no judgment or criticism here. Yes. There's no finger pointing. Um, we're comadres, we are best friends, we're made of honors, you know. Through so, sword, through thin, and through, everything. Thick. And through thick. So, so, you know, I hope that we're able to show the younger, younger generation yes. that, you know, sometimes they pick their friends because of what they have, or where they live, or what they drive. But at the end of the day, that's just all materialistic things. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very hard to find a sisterhood and maintain it for so many years because it's been. 30 years, but well, we're still 25, don't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, for me being the oldest, mm -hmm. um, I'm the oldest and my younger sister five years apart, and then I have, we're 17 years apart from my younger sister. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can't talk to them about certain mm -hmm. things. I'm the one that is kind of right. going through things first, mm -hmm. I help them out. But now, we have a better relationship, but growing up was rough. Mm -hmm. So having friends that you can go to, mm -hmm. and confide in, and kind of help guide you sometimes exactly. is important or was important mm -hmm. for me. And have people there that you know that you can lift you up because sometimes you know although we have we all do have amazing families. I have to say we have been blessed with some amazing families. But sometimes you know family can just be a little you know too much and sometimes you just need to step out of that. Mm -hmm. You know and go to your friends to just have some comfort, you know, and some some understanding and just to vent, you know, because sometimes you just can't vent to your family. So, you know, we've been blessed and I'm thankful that we can sit here today all together and, you know, have this journey and go through this experience and, you know, and have some coffee, which is not coffee. <laughs> Cheers. 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 
They're coffee cups, but there's not coffee in it. <laughs> so, and um, there's a lot of things you can do with your friends. You can go dancing, and you can go to the movies, and we can go shopping. Traveling. Traveling. And so, speaking about shopping, today's segment, we're going to talk about outrageous designer shoes. see these shoes here these shoes are actually very expensive shoes and these are old shoes that um basically were i guess released in 2009 and these shoes are from i'm gonna try to say it right tonino lamborghini it's the lamborghini gallardo stilettos designed by moto illustrator tim cooper there's stilettos that look like lamborghinis why? <laughs> so, this is, why? <laughs> so this is why we call this segment ESO. What's yeah. that? Yeah. You know? So what do you guys think about that? I like them. <laughs> I think they're cute. I think, I don't know. I mean, he's really Static. detailed about it. He has the, you know, the he looks like a tire. And, you know, I he mean, has even the headlights. If I were a race car driver... I definitely wear. If you're Danica shoes. Patrick, absolutely. <laughs> or the wife of a racer. <laughs> you, know? you don't want to know what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So Tim Cooper, what do you think about this? Well, so Tim Cooper also designed, and this is where I'm uh, okay. You know, these are these were launched in 2010. He also designed some 3D stiletto police high heels. So they're <laughs> the same concept as these stilettos, but they're a police car. So this yeah. is my question. If you're wearing the Lamborghini stilettos in front of me and you're walking really fast and I'm wearing the police ones, can I pull you over? <laughs> 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 can, I, can I pull you over? Oh so far, gosh. like, what's the maintenance on these Lamborghini sneakers? Like, do you have to take it for an oil change? Or not sneakers, stilettos. Like, how do you, you know, they're like $10,000 shoes. I mean, who would? I don't know. No. I really don't know. I wouldn't rock them, but then again. I don't know if you guys would. There's some also other shoes that are basically stiletto flippers. That's not a fabulous find. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a fabulous find at all. At all. That's, that's just a find. <laughs> so, these well, are. Yes, yes, yes. So these are called the Tide High Heels. They were also launched in 2009. So these are flipper stiletto. You look like a dog. Para donde tu vas con eso? These are flipper stilettos. And they're, the description said they're combined. They combine the elegance of stilettos with the swimming speed of flippers. Now you're going to tell me you're going to walk through the street and then you're going to go take a swim? <laughs> You're going to go inside the fountain. You're going to a pool party. <laughs> with, with these, right, so you're going to rock out your beautiful cup sheet bathing suit, right? Mm -hmm. With these flipper stilettos. Así no, mi gente. No se puede. I don't, I don't understand. And they were just designed. I can't even say his name, so I'm not even going to try it. I will, you will see it on the screen. Um, then there's these final pair of stilettos. They're those stripper platform stilettos, right? But they have a clear bottom on it, and guess what's inside the clear bottom? What? Water? No. Una araña perua. Yes! <laughs> there is a spider on the front platform of this shoe. Oh Ahora, my dime, god! A live spider. Dime tú, si esa cosa se rompe, se te mete por la piel. No. no. Se te <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. And I, I just don't understand. Like, listen, I'm all for fashion and trends, right? And bargain buying. And, pero, I think I'm going to say no to this one. Yeah. With the spider sure. in I think the. it's all around table. I, I say no to all of them. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. The, the police stilettos, the lights you in the back actually someone. go. They light up. They light up. So I'm like, you know, I also saw, you know, how I ended up looking for this. My friend, Jen. I love you, Jen. Um, she bought some Christian Dior shoes and I was bothering her to see how much they cost and she wouldn't tell me so I googled it and I'm like you know um, high end high designer you know heels and these popped up and then there was these sneakers that had also shackles around it so are you am I 
do you want to get the feeling of how it is to be in jail? <laughs> like, are you paying all this money to see mm -hmm. what it feels like to have shackles around you, your ankles? I've never seen that. I've never even seen them in the runway because you would think that right. there's something mm -hmm. to go I mean, again, right? this is something old that popped up that I just, I saw it and I thought it was personally hysterical. They were designed think, in 2009. I but, think some of them are just people who collect shoes like mm -hmm. for instance I like to collect shoes so it's uh, one of the things that I love to do and I don't I sometimes I just buy them just not to wear them it's just they look so pretty mm -hmm. you know I know, it's, it's I know some people are also artists and they do them as art pieces right. and right. they're not really for wear they're just for show and display at, at you know um, art galleries but the spider yeah. I'm not going yeah, to It's almost like we went back in time. I don't know if you ladies remember. I'm going to get you sucker movie when he comes out of jail and his shoes have the fish tank underneath them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yes. is that's that's right. That's what that reminds that's me of. That's a good reference. That's what that reminds that's so me true. of. That is so right. true. Um, <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to leave my fashion all to Jessica and not even go <laughs> this route with these zapatos here. So, um, yeah, I mean. It, I'll buy you a pair and you would have to <laughs> <laughs> they rock them. <laughs> At this point, I'm about comfort. Who knows who those who wear them? And who knows? Maybe somebody that's bien vestida will wear them and they'll be like, oh, look at those heels, they're amazing. And we just spent the last 15 minutes making fun of them. You never know. Yeah. You know, but um, I just found them interesting and I found it interesting that the police heels um, light up. Yeah. So they're like the what are those the kids sneakers? The, the kids light, up? light up sneakers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Light up sneakers. <laughs> yes. so these are high, you know, light up stilettos. I guess. Interesting. I, I, really interesting. Like, I do like that part. Yeah, the part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I hope you like this seg segment and stay tuned. I'm gonna give you some amazing places that you could visit in New York City that you didn't know about. See you in a few. guys welcome back so today I want to give you some tips on outside dining I know we've all been cooped up during quarantine and I actually went and I checked out rooftop restaurant called the rooftop restaurant called the green at Pier 17 in Chelsea they give you your own private lawn and they actually have a Yeti cooler if you want to bring your own beverages you they have a USB port that you can charge your phone so if your phone is dying you can continue taking pictures of the amazing view of New York City I would suggest to go between 5 and 6 p.m. when the sun is setting and the view is totally amazing. They have cabana style chairs and the prices are really reasonable and the food was actually really good. So stay tuned. Next, I'm going to go check out Ampia in the city and I'll let you know how that works out. and elegant so you could get this for a dollar this actually you could get it for a dollar as well and of course don't forget to use the wonderful flexible glue okay clear so what we're gonna do is I am going to place this and this together so it's gonna look just like that okay it's gonna look very very pretty and we're going to decorate with a wreath here. We're going to do this for an actual wedding. So stay tuned to see the wonderful results. Here on our show today, we have these amazing treats from IC Sweets. IC Sweets is a small home-based cake and treats business owned by two Latina women 
Inez and Cindy, who are both born and raised in the Bronx. They are self-taught home bakers that turn their passion into a business. Everything they do is done with a pinch of love. That is their motto. If you want to contact them or get more information or check out their page, please follow them on Instagram at i.c.sweets. Again, this is Icy Sweets, they're to die for. She has these amazing liquid infused strawberries. Oh my God. And their cake pops and cupcakes, but best of all, their cakes are amazing. So don't forget to check them out and follow them at IC Sweets. Thank you for joining us for. <laughs> hey, the these ladies have lost her. <laughs> Up. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Wine and Wisdom. Make sure you follow Icy Sweets oh. on Instagram and you follow us at Wine and Wisdom 5. See you next time. Bye! Bye.